These are the books from chair. My uh, battery is about to die, so we need to make this quick. So this is the uh, gift box that I got. And quick story time, I had to walk with this, heavy as it is, from the event space to my car, which I had to take a couple of stairs. It was in the basement, in heels, in proper heels. So, okay. So this is why we were there. This amazing book and we had a recipe book rather and we had some recipes from this to taste last night and I cannot wait. All of them are pretty much infused with Amarula. That is why it's called the Great Marula Menu. Um, so all of them are infused a little bit with the Amarula, either Ethiopian cream liqueur or the original Amarula liqueur. And I'm so excited. And I can already tell what's in here because it's heavy. And it says, Katleho Malela. Katleho Malela, it's me. It says on the box, you know, when things are personalized, they, they, Katleho. Yeah, yeah. So let's unwrap this. I was going to do it for Instagram, but to be honest, I've, got, I've already got a reel of yesterday for Instagram. So it's fine. There's no need. So we're going to pull it out. Oh, ooh. <laughs> mm. 
So this is what you see when you open it. That's my name. That's my name. That makes it extra special. It's an apron. It's an apron. I can already see it. It's an apron. Oh, this is so pretty. Look. Look. Ah, this is so awesome. Ah, this is great. Ooh, thank you so much. Jay and Lazy and um, Penguin. And of course, inside we've got the P.S. de Resistance. P.S. de Resistance. And these are the Amarula bottles. There's three of them in there. There's three of them in there. So we've got the cream with Amarula's, with Marula, with Marula Spirits. <laughs> that's the original I think yes that's definitely the original and then we've got two of the ones that they used in yesterday's dishes these this one is the new one which is cream with marula spirit Ethiopian coffee oh my god they use this in some of the meals most a lot of the all the meals that we had yesterday and it's delicious there's some marula chicken wings that we had I was on the floor this is amazing. Thank you so much. I thought there was going to be a bottle of gin in there because their gin slaps. The Marula gin, it slaps. So thank you very, very much to all of the people involved in making last night happen. This is absolutely amazing. Maybe I might just take a picture. So let me not do too much here. Let me just leave it like that. Thank you so, so much. Ah, Penguin. Thanks, Mipes. Thanks, Penguin Random House. Ah. And then, of course, my chum chum chummy chum chum charity gave me some books and I told you the whole story. So, let's get into them. I haven't looked at them since last night and I'm not going to look at them now. I'm just going to pull them out. Okay, and let's see. Oh, I wanted this book, and I remember speaking to her. <laughs> you know, when you have beautiful friends, literally and figuratively. I wanted this book to my sisters A Guide to Building Lifelong Friendships. This is by Renee Kapuku and Courtney Daniela Boateng. Oh, I love it. Oh my gosh, she's even, she's read it. She's read it because she's, she's um, flagged some parts of the book. Love it. I'm not going to read the backstories of these because if I do, we're going to be here all day. Okay, my chat. But I think this one is definitely a nonfiction. That cover is absolutely insane. It's so beautiful. Okay, next. Um, ah, how did... Did, she, did I tell her about Vagabonds? Did I? I wanted to buy this book and I ended up getting uh, The Green Gambit, I think. Oh, Gambit Queens, Gambit Queens. Thanks, Chair. She's gonna make me cry. This is Vagabonds by Ilo Go Gosha Osunde. I don't know how to say it. I'm sorry if I've butchered it. But I'm excited! So it's a Nigerian author. Okay. Next. Boom. She called me woman. It's not the woman that I read, right? No, that one's the other one. No, this is not it. Nigeria's queer women speak. I l you know how thoughtful this is because I'm pretty sure I spoke to her about to my sisters. But also at the same time, she also knows I'm part of the legit community and to see how intentional her choice was with these books i specifically uh, picked for her um translated works and she knows how much i love translated works um from all over the world so i picked translated works for her because i want to get her into translated works but to think that she was so intentional with these books because it's books that i would read
and this is also another non-fiction and she knows because I've said to her that I want to read more non-fiction I'm currently reading some non-fictions I know she's gonna watch this you know how I feel I tell you about it all the time next boom ah! I told her I wanted this book ah! I told her I wanted this book and I believe she read it this is anonymous sex 27 authors 27 stories no names attached 27 erotic stories written by the authors This girl, ah, this girl, this girl feeds my spirit. I don't even want to lie to you. She genuinely does. Okay, last one is a hardcover. Don't see it. I don't. Oh, oh, but it's written on the side. So, <laughs> oh no, Manchester happened. Let me, let me, let me, let me tell you how crazy this is. Damn, let me show you how crazy this is. She gave me the hardcover. Boom. Manchester happened. And I started reading it. I was actually reading it in one of my vlogs where I was sitting outside in the garden and I was actually reading it. Man, this girl, this handle. I'm just going to go off and cry somewhere. It's a hardcover. And hardcovers are loved, hey? Me Manchester happened. She gave me books that she knows I, I would read. And this is all that I want, and I've spoken to her about them before. She's just phenomenal. I know she's got a lot going on this weekend, and she's probably going to be busy, but I'm going to voice note her right now. You know when you've got good friends in your life, Appreciate them, love them, eat them up like little bits of deliciousness because outside of your family, your next best family that you get to choose are your friends. And I cannot tell you how much charity fills my heart. And I don't talk about my friends very much. You'll hear me mention my friends' names in sit-down videos or whatever. But I don't talk about my, fr my friendship with Charity. You might have seen, she may have, she's got a YouTube channel. She does bookish content, like full-on strong bookish content. And um, you may have seen her comment on, in my comment section. Her channel is called Booked on Charity. I'll put it here. If you are somebody who loves books, please go show Charity some support. I really would appreciate it. And spam her by commenting Gatleo sent me. Even if you don't uh, follow, you're not too bookish, but if you are bookish, I know a number of you on here are. If you are bookish, Charity is insane. Her reviews are insane. So please follow her on Instagram, on YouTube. She's here on YouTube. Um, and she wants to, you know, she's looking at reaching a certain milestone on YouTube. And I really would appreciate it if you could do it just for me. Where you could, even if you don't uh, subscribe, we're not going to force you to do that. But if you are a bookish lover, you would love Charity's content. She's very in-depth in terms of her reviews and when she does her TBRs and when she um, does her vlogs. I find her vlogs she does really long vlogs you know how you guys are always like oh please we'd like your vlogs to be longer charities are long like there you get an hour long vlog sometimes from that girl and um and they're good and they're nice and they're calming and they're relaxing like you'll watch her cook or you'll watch her review a book or you'll see her read in real time i really would appreciate it if you could go and show charity some love this moment right here is for charity i just i don't talk much about my friendship with charity i don't but charity and i talk every day 
and we have grown in leaps and bounds even over the really short period that we've been friends it's pretty much probably been two years now and because we stay so far apart from each other she's in Pretoria I'm in Joburg and I'm on the other side of Joburg do you know what I mean like I'm I'm not in mid-rent you know if I was in mid-rent and she wasn't right then then yeah if but I'm on the other side of mid-rent like, I'm 20 minutes away from mid-rent if you're in South Africa, you know exactly the pinpointers, if you know Joe Beck, right? So we live so far apart that we get to see each other at bookish events or when we specifically set a time to see each other. Um, and I'll be visiting her really soon, like within the next week or two as I film this. And But the amount of times that I talk to that girl in a day the amounts of things we've shared about one another. She could literally write a book about me and ruin me if she wanted to. And I always say all my friends can ruin me. But if you've got great friends, just love on them today. The way I want to love on this hun right now. Uh, because this is just, this is too much. I genuinely feel like when I go to her house, I need to go with two more books. Because she's outdid herself. This is, this is five books. She's literally outdid herself. And I really want to start today. <laughs> Am I giving myself away that I'm quite a very sexually liberated person? And I love it. I love to read about it. Love to. Anyway, uh, yeah. I love you so much. I know you're going to watch this. So I love you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you for this. Damn, she's making me look like a badass friend. Just send her two books and she come out here sending me five. Damn. <laughs> All right, my camera's about to die, so I'm going to go. Um, I'll see you in the next clip because there's definitely a lot more content I'm going to need to film throughout the week to fill up this vlog. So I'll see you in the next clip. Thank you to Penguin Random House for this invite and this awesome, awesome gift box. And thank you to you, Chair. Okay. All right. Bye. friends it's a different day of the vlog um so i just wanted to i've been i've had paper bags and plastic bags literally sitting here for probably like the past two weeks because i wanted to share with you guys what i recently picked up uh while i was just out on the streets you know what i'm saying while i was out on the streets so because it's sunday i'm relaxing i'm having my drink i'm just like vibing out by myself listening to some good music i've been talking to senzo on the phone now lady's bestie i've been talking to senzo on the phone for i'd like to say the past hour and a half but i'm putting him on pause i can see that he's trying to call me right now but i'm putting him on pause just so that i can get this version of the vlog done i haven't left the house today i really genuinely was planning on leaving the house there's a couple of things that i need to do it's the first of september as i record this there's bills i need to pay there's uh things i need to pick up for the house and all of that and i was just like i don't feel like it i'll do it tomorrow on my way home from work i'll do all the stops so today i'm just gonna have my drink and listen to my music maybe later on watch a movie or something on like netflix or or disney prime whatever and then i am going to just kind of chill and hang out there is I, I want to do some reading and writing as well. So I'm just trying to get this part of the vlog out of the way. And then we can continue vlogging tomorrow. So, oh, I recently just did my nails. Very, very different for me. Very different. Very fiery. Do, do we love it? Yes. 
I was just like, listen, I'm gonna welcome. Do they match with my with my t-shirt? Yes, yes. I was just like, no, you know what? I just wanna welcome spring in. Typically not what I would do, especially with my nails, but it is what it is. So first things first, this is from H&M, and this was actually a purchase by my sister for me, and I thought that it was absolutely perfect. She got herself one as well, and I was there with her on the day, and she got this for me. So it's like a boob tube. It's so cute. It's black. There's not much you're going to see about it now, but it's got a little bit of a slit on the side here. It's a proper boob tube. It is so sexy. I tried it on. Could you imagine wearing this in the summertime? You throw over a little, just like a, a puffer if you're out in the evening with a nice little stack of chains with your nails and your, your baddie sunglasses. I bought baddie sunglasses. Can you believe it? And I'm not a baddie. And I always say, I'm not a baddie. I'm not a baddie, but I'll show so you. I got these from Cotton On on the same day. I bought these ones for myself because I just thought they were so cool. Could you imagine when I have my makeup on and I'm just like, yeah, mm, sitting somewhere, just, mm, yeah. <sighs> I wonder when he's going to get here. You know, yeah, because I'm the baddie that I think I am. I'm not a baddie, but I think these are freaking cool. They're giving blade vibes. They're giving futuristic. Do you know what I mean? They ju they're just giving, man. So imagine me in this with my new hairstyle that's coming and 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 make up cute sitting somewhere having sundowners with the with the sun just streaming on me on like during golden hour please 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 that's what my mom used to like saying please <laughs> my mom my late mom she used to love saying that please and then the other day I didn't realize that at the new center here by us in my area, um, there's a store called Panda. It's huge. It's like, um, what, what store can I think of that's very similar to this? Like your home essentials, home etc. those kinds of stores, but it's got a lot more in it. Like it's, 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 yo, yo, it's got a lot. So I'm somebody who writes. Now, this is my current journal. And it's literally, it's literally like a, like a, like a diary. Like I write in it, right? I'm not going to show because, girl, I was going through it yesterday. I started writing. But I have a lot of these dotted around the house. Not dotted around the house. They're in a specific area. And because I fill them up so much, I write at night. I write during the day. Like now this afternoon, it's quite nice and warm out. I want to pour a drink, sit outside and actually write. When I feel like my thoughts become convoluted in my head, I just feel like I need to get it out and write it down on paper. This stuff gets stored in a very, very safe space in my home where no one can get access to it. I have, it, I have them in a very specific space where no one can get access to them but me. So because I've got a ton of them and I'm constantly writing, I go through multiple of these per year. So when I walked into Panda, um, I saw like a stationary, like two or three stationary aisles. And I'm like, okay, uh, let me just see. I'm running out of journals. And this was the first one that I picked up. It's got a very uh, moleskin diaries feel to it, like very like leathery, but it's probably faux leather, but it's very leathery, right? I loved it. I think it's simple. It's cute. And then I got this one as well. It's a, another A5 notebook. Just plain blue. Really cute as well. Full leather. And then for my client sessions, when I'm writing down notes and things for my clients, I normally use books this size. This is an A3, I think. Isn't it? Because that's A5. I think this is... No, this is not A3. A3 is the big, big one. I forget what size this is. But I thought they were really cute. And for 20 rand a pop, come on. So I picked up an extra two of these. This is where I write my client notes, exercises, assessments, um, what I want to talk about in the next sessions and all of that. So I'm running out of uh, the ones that I'm currently using. I'm on my last one. 
So I think I will actually go back. I saw quite a few that are really pretty. So I will actually go back. These, these would also be great if you're somebody who just writes a lot or you're at school or your job entails a lot of writing. I think this would be pretty cool. 20 bucks. 20 bucks, that's all. And then pens, of course. Fine liners for me, very, very important. Um, these were considerably cheaper than if you were to go to a PNA and get a set of fine, fine liner pens, colored ones, from Stedler or Bic. You'd be paying well over 100 bucks, probably like 120, 150 bucks. So it's just like uh, the pens that I use for, for myself, there's certain pens that I use that are expensive, but uh, for just note taking and things like that, I didn't think it made sense to me to spend excessive amounts of money, especially knowing where my 2025 is going to go. So saving money, which is what I've been doing, is going to go to a good cause in 2025. So save where I can. The only place where I do not save, after I went into Panda, I popped into discam to pick up this baby i popped into discam to pick up this baby when you know when you know you know okay hang on but when you know you know this is the elizabeth arden eight hour cream i like to put this in my bag i like it for rashes we are going into the summertime so i tend to get a little bit of heat rash like here or here um eczema just like a light eczema kind of breakout but i also love this for lips as well girl we are here right now and my lips are looking kind of dry so you might as well right mm-hmm Mm -hmm. gives a really nice glossy i had a herpes the other week so see but it's healed now so lovely oh my diffuser smells amazing it's in the back there i can smell it really good stuff this yeah you will pay a pretty penny it's 400 bucks but it lasts a really long time it really does and i'm woolworths and typo yes first things first typo i went into typo about a month ago and i picked up this bottle a month ago okay now this is not the same bottle but i picked this exact bottle up a month ago and then i went to my sister's house with this bottle she saw it she liked it i gave it to her so i decided to pick up one myself it's pretty much the same size as the Jonathan Ball one, it's about a 1.2 liter, so really love it. If I can have a good solid four of these in a day, for me, it's a good water day. If I have three, it's okay, but typically I normally do four of these in a day, and it's great because it sits proper in my car, and it's just easy to carry around. I really love it. And do I have a water bottle obsession? Absolutely. What do you even mean? Of course I do. Of course I do. Um, do I care? No. Would I attend a water bottles anonymous? No. So, so that's so that's that. Got this from Typo. Absolutely love it. My sister took the other one, so great. And then the other day I went into Woolies. And here's the reason, okay? The slippers that I'm currently wearing are too big for my feet. And because they are too big for my feet, I have fallen over a number of times in this house. Walking, trip over myself. Walking, listen, I have bashed my knee. I have bashed my hip bone just walking in these slippers because they are big and also heavy. Therefore, I can't lift my foot the proper way that I should be lifting my foot, okay? So I finally remembered. I'd been wanting to get new slippers for months and months now, and I never got them. So I finally remembered, and I picked these up. I think they're great, summertime, um, they're fabulous. So I'm gonna start wearing these uh, house slippers when I'm in the house. I absolutely love them. They're black. They come in all sorts of colors. If you watched the vlog previous to this one, The Life in My 30s, you will see the place, the, um, the clip where I'm looking at the slippers in Woolies and I end up picking up those ones. Those go for 230 bucks. Yeah. That's what I got. For the foreseeable Sunday afternoon, I'm going to be chilling, relaxing, 
listening to more music and unwinding. So I hope you guys are having a great day or evening as you are watching this. And I'll see you in the next clip. Okay.